In your notes, you say that one market that could outperform in 2020 is a Hang Seng <coughs> Index in Hong Kong. But that market has been really volatile, right? Just subject to every headline that comes from the protests that have been going on for seven months. This GTV chart on the Bloomberg also showing you that the economic fundamentals are just really, really bad. Now we're in a recession. So where do you see the upside coming from? Yeah, I mean, I, I suppose my point on the Hang Seng is more that um, it's, it's tied to the, uh, I suppose, areas of global markets that provide the best risk-reward ratios based on some of the headwinds we're seeing removed from the market landscape right now. So it wouldn't just be the Hang Seng. I wouldn't put Hang Seng on the top of the list. You'd be looking at the Nikkei and Kospi in particular, you know, these export-driven economies that have been uh, incredibly hurt by the trade war as well as the slowdown that we've seen uh, accelerate, for lack of a better term, uh, in the Chinese economy this year. The, the thing is, is, and it probably goes back to the point where just making before is that, you know, if you look at valuations across even European indices now, um, you know, US stock markets are, are a great example still, is that valuations are getting pretty toppy. The markets are positioned for something of a really strong growth rebound. Um, but I think if you're looking for risk rewards really on a, on a trading basis where you want to get bullish based on the thematics that we've seen um, coming through in the back end of this year, is that effectively, you know, your Hang Seng is, uh, is, a, is one that's got a little bit of upside to it based on valuations. If we start seeing, of course, uh, the risk remove around um, domestic issues there. But the markets in the Asian periphery are really where the growth is going to come from. And really that sort of Chinese driven uh, uh, turnaround and all the markets throughout that region will be really where the, the gains are to be found this year relative to some of the other benchmark indices across the globe.